Hi there. This is the Sunday School lesson for January 24th. Today's story is actually two stories and one sort of interrupts the other. It's called Jesus Heals a Woman and a Girl, based on Luke chapter 8, verses 40 through 56. Do you know someone who has been sick for a long time? What can you do to help? A crowd waited on the shore of the Sea of Galilee for Jesus to get there. Some people were sick. Others were just curious. A religious leader, Jairus, was in the crowd. As soon as Jairus could get to Jesus, he fell at Jesus' feet. Teacher, he asked, will you come to my house? My 12-year-old daughter is very sick. In the same crowd, a woman who had been sick for 12 years tried to get close to Jesus. She had spent all of her money on doctors. Nothing worked. Jesus was her last hope. If I can just touch Jesus, I will be healed, she said to herself. But he's so far away. She pushed and gently shoved. When she was close enough, she touched Jesus' clothes. She knew that she was better right away. Jesus turned and asked, who touched me? Not I, not I, said the people close to him. The crowd is so big, said Peter. Everyone is pushing you. But Jesus knew someone touched him. The woman fell at Jesus' feet. I touched you and I was healed right away, she said. You were healed because you believe, Jesus said. Go and be happy. A man who worked at Jairus' house came to them. Jairus, he said, your daughter died. Don't bother Jesus anymore. Jesus heard the man. He told Jairus, don't be afraid. Trust in me and she will live. Everyone was crying at Jairus' house. Jesus said, don't cry. The girl is just asleep. People laughed at him. They knew the girl was not alive. Jesus went to the girl and gently took her hand. He said, little girl, wake up. The girl woke and stood up. Go get her something to eat, Jesus said to the parents. A daughter is alive, hallelujah, they shouted. Do not tell anyone that I healed your daughter, Jesus ordered the girl's parents. In today's story, a woman touches a piece of Jesus' clothes. This is very surprising because in Jesus' time, the woman would have been afraid to admit that she was the one who had touched his clothes for a couple of reasons. One, people who were sick for a long time would have been excluded from everyday community life. So she shouldn't have even been in the crowd. And two, it was inappropriate for a woman to touch a man she didn't know. It sounds like she was really being brave and really trusted Jesus. Stories about healing can sometimes make us think sad thoughts because we know that people do get sick, especially right now during the COVID-19 pandemic but there are three really important things to remember. Number one, God loves everyone. Number two, having faith in Jesus helps us get through sickness and injury and other difficult times. And number three, God and Jesus are always with us in our pain. In today's story, both the woman and the girl seemed like they were in hopeless situations, but the woman had hope anyway and the girl's family had hope anyway. Christians know that hope isn't just about wishing for something. It's bigger than that. It's a confident expectation of God's promises because we know that God is faithful. Every time we express that confidence in God, we are letting our light shine. This week, I'd like you to make a hope collage with pictures and words that represent hope to you. Susanna did this at our house for the lesson. And our poster says hope several times. And then she found some pictures of people working together and being together. And these represented hope. So maybe you can make a hope collage too. And now let us close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you next time, everybody.